Hi, I'm Joe James, and today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Windows USB drive. Just to be clear, we're not going to be making a USB drive that you can install Windows onto your laptop from. We're going to make a USB drive that has a working installation of Windows that you can actually boot from the USB drive. And we're going to use Windows 7 for that. So the first thing we need to do is download a Windows 7 ISO file. You can find this free online. We'll search in Google for a Windows 7 ISO download. And uh, we're going to go to this Get Into PC. Now it's not activated, so we, have, we can download it, but you have to activate it later. So we'll scroll down here. Then we scroll down, we get a 32-bit version. We can download that. Click Allow. And we'll save file. So this is going to download the Win7 32-bit ISO file. That's going to take about an hour to download. Meanwhile, we're going to go and download the next step, which is Win to USB, which is a tool we're going to use to install the Windows with. So we're going to search for Win to USB. This is a free tool. It's the very search, first Google result here. Website is easyuefi.com, and this is the WinDUSB site. So we can scroll down. You can see there's a free version, so we're going to download that. Free download, we're going to click on that, and we're going to download Save to our hard drive. So those are the two tools we need. We need the Windows ISO file, and we need the win to usb application. So the drive I chose is the SanDisk UltraFit USB 3.0 flash drive. You're going to need at least a 16 gigabyte drive to install Windows 7 on. And so I got the 16 gig model. It claims it has speeds up to 130 megabytes per second, read speeds. Now the write speeds are, are pretty slow. They're only about uh, 5 megabytes per second. So not too speedy on the right side, but at least the read speeds are quick, so we should be able to, to boot and run Windows pretty quickly. And the nice thing about this drive is it's incredibly small on top of being pretty fast on the read side. So it's going to take a while to install Windows on it because of the write speeds being so slow. But uh, once we get Windows installed, it should boot up pretty quick. Now we have both our two files downloaded and we have the USB drive inserted. So we're going to open up our Win to USB application. It's going to ask us to find the ISO file. And we'll select our ISO file. We click on the next button, select the destination disk. We're going to select our sand disk. And this is going to reformat it, so we'll click OK. And we're going to select both of these for the system partition and the boot partition. Now we just have to wait while it installs. So be patient with the install. Mine seemed to spin around on 0% for a couple of minutes before it got to 2% and it probably is going to take a good half hour or more altogether so just be patient and uh, let the installation happen so now we have this nice little message that it's installed successfully so we can close this up and shut down our computer and then we'll reboot the computer with the USB drive inserted now this installing devices is going to take a good five minutes or so uh, so this has been running actually for a few minutes already and it's only about a third of the way done. So uh, we'll check back in when that finishes. So we finished applying system settings and now it says we have to uh, restart the computer. So it's doing that for us automatically. Restart, make sure we push F12 here. And we choose the USB SanDisk USB drive again. And now starting Windows. So you get a few messages on the screen here. It says it's uh, preparing the computer for first use. Now it's checking for video performance. Now we get a few standard prompts for the Windows setup. Uh, I'm going to accept all those defaults. Mm, I'll just type uh, and you get to your activation. So uh, I don't actually have a product key to put in here, but this is where you have to activate Windows. I'll skip this for now, accept the license terms, click next, use recommended settings, uh, I'll accept the standard time setting. We get this nice happy screen here that says congratulations you have successfully installed Windows. We're going to choose not to share at this moment, we'll shut that down. And we have a working installation of Windows, obviously we need to change the resolution and set up some apps and stuff on it. but. Uh, yeah, we have a fully working version of Windows here installed on the drive. It's not activated again. You have to uh, you have to activate Windows yourself. Not going to do that for you. But 
there you have it. So you, this will now work in any computer. You should be able to boot up basically any laptop or a p desktop PC using this bootable USB drive and just push F12 when you power it on to go to boot options. It, that may vary with different computers, but in most computers it's probably going to be F12 to go to the boot options and select the USB drive to boot from. So now you have a mobile working uh, bootable USB drive. That concludes this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If you like this, please uh, give me the thumbs up and uh, leave any comments below. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.